What's going on, guys? It's Greg here, aka New York Prepper. It is Sunday, March 27th, 2022. And I wanted to just share with you guys a package that I recently got from Ukraine, of all places. And I recently ordered a backup dosimeter. I actually ordered it about a week before Russia invaded Ukraine because I knew that Russia was going to invade Ukraine. And the company that makes the dosimeter is based out of Ukraine. So I said, let me order this dosimeter before Russia invades and the company ceases to exist. And the dosimeter is a Terra P Plus made by Ecotest. I have their Terra P, which I've had for eight years. And it served me well. It's a great dosimeter. I highly recommend it. I think it's one of the best dosimeters out there for the money. And I have done a review on it, an in-depth review. You can check that review out in my gear reviews playlist, or you could check the top of your screen and there'll be a link to that review. But I wanted to get another therapy because mine is eight years old. I wanted a fresh one, especially because the chances of nuclear war have increased dramatically in the last few weeks. So I said, let me order another dosimeter. This way I can give it to somebody else, or if my main dosimeter fails, I'll have a backup. And so I was surprised that the seller of this dosimeter was able to actually ship it out to me. I don't know if he was dodging artillery or, or small arms fire to get this thing to the post office, but I wanted to just show you the box that it came in. And came with this uh, Ukrainian postage on it, these stamps here, Ukrainian stamps, which is pretty cool. And I'm going to save these stamps as well as the box as a souvenir, just in case Ukraine ceases to exist as a country, which is what Vladimir Putin wants to do. He wants to completely annihilate Ukraine and remove all the Ukrainians from that land. Because he doesn't believe that they deserve to have their own land. He doesn't even believe Ukrainians should even exist, really, which is kind of crazy. It's kind of like Hitler. But um, I'm going to save this box. It's pretty cool. Check that out. Kiev, Ukraine. And um, here's the customs declaration. Therapy Plus. It's pretty cool. You can see the Ukrainian... Uh, writing there on the bottom. I'm not sure what that means, but um, I like to save little things like that. I have a scrapbook where I keep things in, so um, I think this is really cool. I'm not sure why he put the, the value of this as uh, 19 euros. It's a lot more than that, but um, anyway, I wanted to just show this to you guys. I think this is cool. Check that out, the Ukrainian writing on it and uh, the address, Kiev. Ukraine. He must have mailed this thing out uh, in the middle of, you know, when Russia was encircling Kiev. I mean, I just got this about two weeks ago. So he must have mailed it out like the first week of the invasion because it takes about two weeks for any kind of mail to come from Europe. So he must have mailed it out like right when the invasion started, which is when the worst was happening in Kiev when the Russian military was in Kiev, but uh, this is my therapy that I've had for eight years now, and I absolutely love this thing. And this is the therapy plus in here, and the therapy plus has some extra features in it, and I'm gonna do a full review of it pretty soon. I'm probably gonna do a full review this week, okay. This is the box here, EcoTest, great company. They make a lot of good stuff. Check that out. Made in Ukraine. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by this company whatsoever, okay? Um, I'm just doing this review and kind of just showing you guys this quickly here just, just for fun. So this is the Therapy Plus, and this is the Therapy. You can see the difference, some slight differences here. Okay, so I'm going to do a full review of the Therapy Plus pretty soon. But I thought that was pretty cool. And I always keep my dosimeter in a Faraday bag and also in a waterproof pouch. 
okay, to protect it from water as well as an EMP. And in this pouch, I also keep some analog dosimeters. Analog meaning they're chemical. They're made by a company called Rad Triage, and they're a chemical dosimeter, okay? So the chemical changes color based on how much radiation it's exposed to. But that's pretty much it. Just wanted to show this to you guys. I'm going to be doing a full review pretty soon. Isn't that really cool? Check that out, guys. Look at that postage. It's just pretty neat. I wanted to share that with you. So take care. God bless. And don't forget the three Ps. Prepare, practice, and persevere.